as we learn more. Now to a triple shooting in Lexington overnight. Police say it happened in the 500 block of Stonehaven Drive around midnight. Three people were taken to the hospital with what was described as non-life-threatening injuries. Police haven't released any suspect information, but encourage anyone with information to contact the department. You can also submit a tip anonymously to Bluegrass Crime Stoppers. Okay, check on that forecast. Now we've got meteorologist Jordan Smith in for TG. The air that you can wear, we've been talking about it all week. It is now here, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Steamy. Oof. Yeah, it is. And the next couple of days is going to be the exact same way. So yeah. go over those heat precautions. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, sunscreen, and taking breaks in the shade if you're going to be outside for extended periods of time. Now we are tracking a few showers and rumbles of thunder on Mass XD radar. Most everybody is dry. That will begin to change up as we get into the day on Thursday, though. You can see here in the portions of southern Rock Castle County, uh, maybe a few showers there for a few folks. But again, maybe a few more sprinkles scattered out across Kentucky, but most of us are dry and it is hot and steamy. 90 here in Lexington, 88 down in Richmond, 88 Moorhead, 86 Jackson, 86 Hacker. If you're watching on Good Afternoon Kentucky, portions of South Central Kentucky were stuck into the 70s because they had more in the way of clouds. Even that part of the state is starting to climb into the mid 80s. And dew points everywhere are making it feel like 90 in Frankfort, 92 Lexington, 93 Richmond. 88 summers at an 89 there in London. As far as the next 36 hours goes, temperature won't budge much overnight. Likely staying to the low 70s, making for a muggy overnight. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're back into the mid to upper 80s with more in the way of scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. But if you're heading out to the backyard tonight to swim, do whatever, temperatures will be dropping through the 80s. Partly sunny sky, then as that sun sets later tonight, dropping through the 70s. So a perfect evening to hit the pools. But coming up in your storm team forecast, we'll show you the latest heat index numbers, which has temperatures continuing to creep up. Now to tonight's top story at five. To help with cleanup efforts after severe storms on Sunday, the city of Lexington says the old Frankfurt Pike landfill pad is now open for people to dump their storm debris. ABC 36's Justin Walker joins us there live with all the details. Justin? We've seen people steadily coming in and out of this landfill today, bringing truckloads of all of that storm debris, branches, trees, uh, yard waste, all of that. And while some people have had to make multiple trips today, they say their cleanup efforts are just getting started. Truckload by truckload. People continue their cleanup after last weekend's storms. At my sister's house, there, you know, there's trees, limbs everywhere all over our neighborhood. Stacy Altwees and her dad have already made multiple trips to the landfill, bringing in trailerfuls of debris. So I don't know what else we would do with it. The city helping ease the load by opening up multiple locations free of charge so that people can drop off their storm waste. The former Old Frankfurt Pike landfill opened through Friday. Meanwhile, at the Haley Pike location, fees are waived through July 14th. Uh, some of our big limbs fell over on the property next door and taking care of those too, but uh, we, we, we were fortunate, all things considered. <laughs> Wes Alford says it could have been much worse, despite losing power for nearly 30 hours. We were fortunate compared to our neighbors across the street. They had a huge tree fall through their the ceiling of their bedroom, roof, and I mean, you can see daylight. Still, he says he's grateful he doesn't have to drive too far. This is like 10 minutes, so it's yeah. great. Communities continuing the cleanup one limb at a time. Now, if you're not able to get those trees and yard waste out here to one of these landfills, the city says that they can be left by the curb. They need to be stacked very neatly, and the limbs should be cut at about four feet. I'm live in Lexington, Justin Walker for ABC 36 on your side. And that's not the only landfill open for storm debris in the city. Fees will also be waived at the Haley Pike landfill now through July 14th. That landfill is located at 4216 Hedger Lane. Haley Pike is open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. A Boone County man has died after a fireworks incident. The Boone County Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to a home in Florence around 1030 last night and found a man dead. He's been identified as 48 year old Brian Simpson. Investigators believe Simpson was attempting to light a commercial grade firework using a homemade mortar tube. 
As soon as the firework was lit, it immediately exploded, killing Simpson. No reports of anyone else injured at the scene. A University of Kentucky football player arrested last month pleads not guilty to multiple charges in a Fayette County courtroom today. Deckel Crowdis is charged with driving under the influence of alcohol, being in possession of marijuana, and careless driving. The UK wide receiver was arrested by UK police June 25th. He's due back in court July 20th. A group of students from Ireland are here in Lexington. Uh, the city says they're visiting to learn more about the city and American culture. Mayor Gordon tweeting this picture today saying Lexington students will be visiting Ireland in the near future as well, saying, quote, Sister Cities offers a wonderful way to experience different cultures. Well, coming up in our nation view, a federal judge limits Biden officials' contact with social media companies after two Republican attorneys general accused the administration of trying to silence their critics. And a, a one-year anniversary for a missing Monticello man, the latest in the search efforts.